Good afternoon and welcome back to the West Ham Network. This is your Hammers Headlines for today. We have so much to get through. This show is in association with our good friends over at Knees Up One About KUMB.com. Get across there, check them out. Fantastic content, uh, um, content as per usual. But we do have a lot that we need to get through. It's relentless when it comes to West Ham. And it doesn't stop here. We've witnessed West Ham go through such an awful loss at the weekend. But time moves on as we move into the Europa League Conference. And we need to start getting wins under our belt, not just in the Europa Conference, but of course in the Premier League to make sure of our safety. But there could be big changes at the top. And that leads me into today's first story. And that is about West Ham chairman David Sullivan could quit West Ham this summer. Sources close to the club have said. Now, Sullivan currently owns 38% of West Ham and was joint chairman alongside his good friend and no longer with us anymore, David Gold. May he rest in peace since their purchase of the club back in 2010. Now, Czech billionaire Daniel Kotinski, who currently owns 27% of the club following his investment in 2021, and he is believed to be keen to extend his ownership of the club. Now, sources close to the club, apparently, according to reports, are saying that Kratinsky plans to invest a further $150 million into West Ham to purchase David Gold's 25%. And should Kratinsky follow through with that investment, he would then overtake Sullivan as West Ham's majority shareholder. Kratinsky is also the majority shareholder in Sparta Prague and has been chairman of that club since 2004. Form. Now, it's understood that Sullivan and Kratinsky have already discussed the matter on the majority ownership and that Sullivan will make a decision in the summer regarding whether or not he'll stay at the club. Now, Sullivan, who first took control of the club back in 2010 alongside his partner at the time, David Gold, they bought a 50% share of the club between them and then increased their stake by 10% at the end of their first season. And during their ownership, West Ham, of course, moved from Upton Park to the London Stadium. We did, of course, qualify sometimes for European football, but this will make for interesting reading. David Sullivan potentially heading out of the club in the summer with Kratinsky coming in, taking over as majority shareholder. Let me know your thoughts and put it in the comment section below as I move on to the next story for today. And this could lead in nicely um, with the news that that would happen if, 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 if Sullivan was to leave the club. And that is that apparently West Ham um, delivered a remarkable offer to Jose Mourinho to replace David Moyes as the West Ham manager, according to several reports. West Ham, who just sit one point above the relegation zone with David Moyes definitely feeling under a lot of pressure, seems to have the backing from the current board, but he is potentially um, under a lot of threat. And apparently... The West Ham owners have got their eyes and hearts potentially set on Mourinho. And that's according to sources in Italy. But the, cl the apparently the club have identified Moyes as a possible replacement should he be shown the door. David will be shown the door. Now, we all know about Jose Mourinho. We know he's had two spells with Chelsea, a Manchester United job and the Tottenham job. And West Ham are said to be taking concrete steps to deliver this remarkable offer to bring in Jose Mourinho to the club. But there is a big but. Why would he leave the current situation that he is in when he is with Roma? He apparently is rumoured to be wanting to stick about the situation with Roma, but he is always tempted to come back to the Premier League. And I think what he probably will wait to see is where West Ham lie in the future. Will we be a Premier League club or a championship club? This one could grow arms and legs moving forward. It's something, again, we definitely need to keep an eye on. And the last story of today is that the West Ham Youth Academy has taken a big blow because our recruitment manager and supposedly well thought of Delroy B. Banks has resigned and left to go to Newcastle United to take up his new role there. Now we are looking for a new recruitment manager um, and who can work in tandem of course with the likes of Kenny Brown, our new academy manager and of course Mark Noble in his new role and this is a significantly big blow because in recent times, it looks like he has been quite influential in our system of the youth systems as well. But we are and have lost a lot of players from the youth system. But we believe there is a 
program in place where they're trying to develop these under 18s probably more currently than what the under 21s are looking at now but it looks like he has moved to newcastle as the lead scout for them and in theory will go into direct competition with West Ham for some of the future talent as well. And I wonder if that is a big blow for a long-term strategy as we look to define what the West Ham Academy once was and what it still is. But if they are sanctioning these deals and allowing these players to leave and they believe there's genuine reason why they are, then we have to believe in the process. And despite losing him to Newcastle, Ebanks to Newcastle, it could give West Ham an opportunity to start afresh and look to rebuild a lot of our youth setup as well. Leave your comments in the comment section regarding the news he potentially or has left. The that brings an end to our Hammers headlines for today. Short and sweet one for you. Kretinsky in as a majority shareholder. Sullivan out of the club in the summer. Mourinho potentially coming to the club in the summer, depending on where West Ham are. Moyes heading out of the club um, after a crazy season, really, and hopefully West Ham will still be in the Premier League and we lose a big, big deal. Big, big um, recruitment manager in Delroy Ebanks as well from our youth setup. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the march towards 20,000 subscribers. We hit 15k the other day, so much appreciated. Take it easy. And of course, everyone, come on, you absolute beautiful irons.